welcome to g shredi technologies role of programming for testing with selenium role of programming for software testing uh, in software testing we have two methods for uh, to uh, we have two methods to conduct uh, software testing one is traditional manual testing another is automation testing for manual testing no programming required for automation programming required we have different types of automated testing uh, functional automated testing performance automated testing api testing mobile testing etc in these uh, automated test types uh, for functional automated testing more programming knowledge is required for performance testing little bit programming knowledge is enough for automated functional testing more programming knowledge is required for manual testing no programming knowledge is required for manual testing only understanding requirements documenting test cases executing test cases and reporting defects okay understanding uh, documenting executing reporting no programming but for automated testing especially for functional automated testing programming knowledge is mandatory for automated functional testing or functional automation testing uh, important tool is selenium other tools for this category uft formerly qtp micro focus uft ibm rft silk test test complete uh, test partner water etc in this cat in, in in this category selenium is powerful tool okay uh, come to mainstream role of programming for testing with selenium see our selenium supports six programming languages for writing test cases we can use any one of those languages not all any one of those languages it supports java python c sharp ruby javascript and kotlin all are object oriented programming all are whoops see earlier uh, selenium supported perl perl structured programming language now nowadays uh, selenium supports all object oriented programming languages object oriented programming paradigm is popular uh, programming structure in computer environment structural programming like c slowly getting outdated okay uh, role of programming of testing with the selenium suppose you take java or python or c sharp what is the role of programming in our selenium testing selenium testing means testing with selenium or testing using selenium okay say first thing uh, if uh, if we use java we follow java syntax for writing our selenium test cases programming syntax for writing selenium test cases suppose java is case sensitive every java statement or step should end with a semicolon suppose if you follow python for selenium then we follow python programming syntax for python latest versions no semicolon at the end of every python statement but python also case sensitive see first thing we use programming syntax to write selenium test cases uh, comments say in computer programming two important things one is rule syntax rule another is comment comment is standard if you don't write comments in your programs no issue you can execute your programs and get the correct result 
but a readability point of view comments important comments are standards okay uh, we write comments in selenium test cases uh, to write test case headers to write method headers to explain complex logic anyhow writing comments is optional but best practice next data types programming data types java or any data types are used in test automation for storing and comparing specific type of data next modifiers here we need to focus on number whole number number with decimal places character boolean value logical value true or false next string text india is text string next modifiers access modifiers are used in selenium test cases to define access level for variables methods etc but most of the time we use public access modifier only our sees teamwork we share automation resources among team members so we don't go for private like access modifiers developers java software developers may may use other modifiers uh, we have four access modifiers public private protected and default but we software testers use public access modifier only in interviews also you can explain like this we have four access modifiers in java public private protected and default i never used private like modifiers i used public access modifier only we share our automation resources among team members next another category for modifiers non access modifiers we have static final abstract like modifiers we use static modifiers for creating static variables and static methods final variable for creating final variables rare use in our automated testing uh, next abstract variables for creating abstract methods incomplete methods incomplete classes that is also rare use or no use in our uh, selenium testing next variables we use variables in our selenium test cases for storing and handling data different types of data variables we use next operators see we use operators in selenium test cases for we may use operators programming operators in our selenium test cases for performing arithmetic comparison and logical operations next important one programming control flow control flow statements say you take any computer programming language we have three types of control flow statements control flow or flow control one is decision making statements or conditional statements next loop statements third one branching statements we use conditional statements in our test cases for uh, uh, for inserting general conditions for verification points we may use testing framework assert commands next we use loop statements in our selenium test cases for repetitive execution code repetitive execution example data driven testing next arrays arrays see we use arrays in our test cases for handling tabular format data for example excel file like tabular format data if you want to read excel file for data driven testing then we need to use arrays for storing tabular format data next are uh, strings uh, array list also there we have several data structures array is data structure in java not only in java in any language array list is array list also data structure 
అరే ఈ స్టాటిక్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇన్ జావా అరే లిస్ట్ ఈస్ డైనమిక్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ నెక్స్ట్ స్ట్రింగ్స్ 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 ఆర్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫార్ అవర్ టెస్ట్ ఆటోమేషన్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ సే ఆటోమేటెడ్ టెస్టింగ్ ఆర్ నవేడేస్ సమ్ ఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఆటోమేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ అల్ ఆర్ సినానియమ్స్ ఓకే స్ట్రింగ్స్ ఆర్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫార్ అవర్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ టెస్టింగ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ వీ రీడ్ డేటా ఫ్రమ్ ఫైల్స్ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ అప్లికేషన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ లైక్ ఎడిట్ బాక్సెస్ దెన్ కంప్యూటర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ కన్సెస్ ద డేటా యా స్ట్రింగ్ టైప్ డేటా నెక్స్ట్ ఐఓ ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఆపరేషన్స్ సే వీ యూజ్ ఇన్పుట్ ఫార్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ డేటా ఫర్ క్యాప్చా ఫీల్డ్స్ సే వి ఎలిమినేట్ ఆర్ వి స్కిప్ క్యాప్చా ఇన్ అవర్ ఆటోమేటెడ్ టెస్టింగ్ సెలీనియం కాంట్ ఆటోమేట్ క్యాప్చాస్ ఓకే వి యూ సే వి యూజ్ ఐఓ ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఫార్ రీడింగ్ యూజర్ డేటా ఇఫ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వన్ ఫైల్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ వి యూజ్ టెక్స్ట్ ఫైల్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్సెల్ ఫైల్స్ యాజ్ ఎ రీసోర్స్ ఫార్ డేటా డివన్ టెస్టింగ్ ఫైల్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ ఈజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఐఓ ఐఓ మీన్స్ ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ నెక్స్ట్ మెథడ్స్ మెథడ్స్ సే మెథడ్ ఫార్ కోడ్ రీయూజబిలిటీ ఇన్ స్ట్రక్చర్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ వీ కాల్ ఇన్ స్ట్రక్చర్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లైక్ సి వీ కాల్ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఇన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ మెథడ్స్ మెథడ్స్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ టు ఫంక్షన్స్ ఇన్ స్ట్రక్చర్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ మెథడ్స్ ఇన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ టు ఫంక్షన్స్ ఇన్ స్ట్రక్చర్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లైక్ సి but not exact equal some similarities are there methods for code reusability we use <coughs> sorry we use methods in our test cases methods basically two types predefined methods and user defined methods we use predefined methods to perform operations on strings numbers arrays and characters and data date and time etc next we use user defined methods for creating reusable components for our test cases if we have code modularity among test cases then we create reusable components using user defined methods methods for code reusability next exception handling say exception handling is an important task in our selenium test cases to handle runtime errors next whoops object oriented programming system see uh, we have four principles in object oriented programming not only in java you take other object oriented programming languages python ruby javascript kotlin uh, c sharp these concepts are same uh, four principles one is inheritance inheritance feature is limited use in selenium testing limited use in selenium testing we inherit inherit means reuse we inherit uh, methods in our test cases from one class to another next polymorphism polymorphism uh, sometimes we use method overloading and method overriding features in our test cases but limited use uh, we create two or more methods with same name for easy maintenance next abstraction abstraction see abstraction is the methodology of hiding the implementation of internal details and showing the functionality to the user in page object model home page object model design pattern we write locators uh, such as id name xpath etc 
in a page class we utilize these locators in test cases but we can't see these locators in the test cases literally we hide the locators from from the test cases next encapsulation say encapsulation is a mechanism of binding code and data together in a single unit all the classes in a framework are an example of encapsulation in pom classes pom p o m pom stands for page object model classes we declare the data members using at the rate find by and initialization of data members will be done using constructor to utilize those uh, in methods thank you